Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the weekend update. Before I get started, a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, just wanted to go over when you watch these videos, oftentimes you're going to hear me refer to a play in the chat room. So while you're down below in the information area, subscribing to this channel if you've not already and liking the video you'll also see a link to the free chat room that's where the plays are posted first i know a lot of you guys uh, watching this video on twitter right now absolutely must jump into the chat room if you want to get these heads up right when they come out so anyway we're gonna jump right in here we're looking at the dow 60 minute chart now we're two weeks from the election this past week was a fantastic week and you know my strategy you know for this entire month and it's going to continue to be that case into the election is we are playing small overnight plays with an emphasis on intraday trading whatever the flavor of the day is it reduces our risk and then we can just play around with whatever's hot for that particular day high cash 85 to 90 percent or more and just looking at small swing positions at least till we get into the election we get those results hopefully the day of i don't think it really matters who wins it just has to be a significant win and then this market is off to the races but we're looking at the dow 60 minute chart a little bit of weakness on friday what is this week going to bring it's going to bring us more of the same crapola from washington dc of course now all of a sudden with some tanking polls there's going to be a stimulus vote this week in the Senate, even though they keep rejecting these ridiculously low, in my opinion, stimulus plans. That could be the reason for them to use to prop the market up this week. If we look over here, this is the Dow daily chart. And you can see we're in a place where it could go one of two ways. We could finally break out above 29K and the shorts get beat out the side of the head or... We see this sell-off into the election as the market decides, eh, you know, maybe let's be a little bit cautious. If we look at the QQQs, the big NASDAQ stocks, similar setup on the NASDAQ stocks. Now, this, like I've said, is a market where I would have a neutral stance. I would not be overly bullish, nor would I be overly bearish. Things can go on one tweet or one headline on a stimulus deal or whatnot, big up or big down. So that is why... I've been focusing on just what's going on in the near-term market. Now, one thing though, if we look at the VIX here, the VIX is a little bit troubling. We are in a slow uptrend here on the VIX since September. Uh, this 200-day moving average at 30 is the big area to watch for. During the summer, it was just bleeding all the way down, down, down. That has reversed. This seems to have a big spike coming. And when big spikes coming, that usually means the rug gets pulled out. It's just something for us to keep an eye on here in the near term. Now, plays going on this, the COVID stocks. COVID is blowing up all over Europe again. And we're starting to see numbers bigger than they have been in numerous states. It's hitting a lot of rural areas right now. The big vaccine drugs that were under trial have already had a couple of bad headline news. And what's surprising is the market has just went a big yawn, even though we've had that negative news. Doesn't mean we're throwing these stocks away. Here's the daily chart on Ogen. I think Ogen is one of the cheapest plays here. The FDA has already given the okay to proceed. Minimal, minimal downside on this one with potentially big upside if we get a press release now as you guys know my favorite play in the covid biotech area is arpo this is a company that's sitting on 44 million ish approximately in cash market cap is ridiculously low even considering their cash value for a biotech and these guys are partnered with a bunch of giant companies and a portion of the u.s military is funding one of these trials this is a stock if we look at the weekly chart that i pulled up before that we get that juicy juicy press release an action that we saw on ibio and vxrt a couple of months ago that potential exists for this stock which is why i like it a lot i also like admp which has done very very nicely this is the one hour chart here it's kind of gone into a sideways slow pattern what would i be looking for for an ad on this one probably a break over a dollar but most definitely a break over 106 we get a break over that level and we could be looking at 20 to 25 percent near-term upside 
Another fantastic setup is COCP, Cock P. Now, you can see here on the chart, this stock has gone to sleep over the last six weeks, but we've played this before on similar action, if you recall, back in May and June, and we ended up getting 300 or 200% move on this. And if I can pull up... Ah, that didn't work. Okay. I was going to pull up another chart that showed you this here, but you can see right here, this action looks exactly like this. The 200-day moving average then was also at this level. So that is going to be the key level to watch here on COCP. We're going to be looking for that 105 break. Minimal, minimal downside. I mean, this stock all year long has had rock solid support in the 80 cent area. It just, these guys have a problem in that They've made a deal with one of these third tier, third tier broker financing clown shops. I'm not going to mention their name who always sell shares at the market and cap the stocks. But then all of a sudden they let them go free. These guys, the right press release, and you'll see the algos chasing it up here in the 150s. ENG. Quick mention on this one, solar has been red, red hot, and part of that reason has been probably the market view that we're going to have a blue wave here, and you're going to see a lot of money flowing into the alternative energy sector in the next year or so. ENG, one of the cheapest ones left here. It reminds me a lot of CBAT when we played it in, in a similar position in a similar place and SPI and PEC before they went on big moves. It can be frustrating sitting on these stocks while they do nothing, but this is a stock that's going from 90 cents to a buck, 90 cents to a buck over and over and over again. So that's one of these stocks that you could look intraday to try and build a free swing position on. BRQS is another one. If, if we get the press release, these guys have been in talks to pick up 60% of an electric car stock in China that's been ongoing all year look what SPI look what some of these other stocks have done when they actually announced that in a headline you'd be looking at 150 would be a distant memory as you see them chasing this one much higher so that is why we continue to sit in this one these guys are also a play on 5g 5g starting to get a lot of headline news right now so that, that couple of really big sectors for BRQS to be in JAKK this one moved fantastic for us on Monday. Um, the way and ease that this stock moved, especially for this time of the year for a toy stock, this is a swing position for me, at least for the next month or so. The chart looks great, minimal downside, doesn't have to be a big swing, but based on how this thing moved, that probably a lot of press releases coming for these guys. I'm surprised they haven't started pushing them out yet with the holiday shopping season for toys and full swing right now. The right press release and the right deal and the way this stock moved previously, the 200 day moving average up there at six looks very, very juicy. INUV, okay guys, I mentioned INUV, let's move on. Uh, PIC. PIC. Now, these are one. This is one of those SPAC stocks, special acquisition stocks. These guys are big in the EV sector. I, I'm just blown away that we are still able to accumulate this stock almost at its value. Remember, these S, these stocks have a ten dollar floor on them. We're able to get this stock at like what ten thirty, ten forty, ridiculously cheap. I, I've said before, and I've gone over this one before. When the press releases drop on stocks like this. They tend to go back at least to $12 to $14 plus. It's deep oversold on the MACD and stochastics. Even looking at this chart, it looks bottomed out for a big bounce in the near term. MSN, what a play in the chat room on Friday. This is a new swing, low float, 5.8 million. We played this one on Monday on the Prime Day movement in the retail stocks, but the reason we got into this one, the two reasons on Friday were A, low float, and low floats are blowing up left and right. But the biggest reason and why this stock ended up going big, cash. These guys have a dollar forty plus cash per share and no debt and a low float which is why you saw everyone chasing this one higher as my research spread around the net. Closed at 110. If this stock manages to dip under a dollar on Monday, I would be looking to pick shares up on it because it's a free company. These are my favorite kinds of plays. 
cash rich stocks. You're buying a stock essentially free. You could buy all the shares in the stock, close the doors, and you automatically have a dollar 40 in cash per share sitting in the bank. These can be very nice swing plays as you get good value for their undervalued stock price. Quick mention on FAMI, F-A-M-I. This is a low flow China that is trying to break out at the $1 area. As you can see, every two months, this stock has a mega spike up to about the 150 plus area. So that is why we're sitting in a small swing position in this one, waiting for them to find them. They've been jamming all these low flow China stocks recently. This guy has the chart for similar. Okay, I was joking earlier. Let me go back to INUV so everyone in the free room is not window jumping Monday morning here. INUV, what else can I say? The chart looks bottomed out. There's nothing more one can say here. It's called patience. We gotta be patient on this one. When will the buyers come in? We've got the 50 day at 41 cents and the 200 day at 39 cents. So this 40 cents area is gonna be a key break level. This would be a place I would be looking to add to my position and definitely be adding to it on a break over 45 cents. And then you'll have everyone start piling back into this stock. Advertising stock, this is the biggest advertising period of the year going into Christmas. These guys are going to do well. Chart is bottomed out. Be patient. So that's it for the video, guys. Again, this is a time to be cautious. High cash, but it doesn't mean we don't trade. This was a fantastic week we had jumping from whatever hot sector was ready each day. Some days it's going to be dead. Some periods in the day it's going to be dead. You have to be ready for that. The next two weeks, cautious with an intraday focus. Have an awesome weekend, and I will see you all in the chat room tomorrow. Bye.